I am back to talk about the video transmitter mounting problem that I ran into earlier during my build. And as far as I'm concerned, the only way to mount a video transmitter to this frame without modifying it, it's mounting on top like this with two zip ties. I got one zip tie here, another one right here, and it does securely mount it pretty well. It, I don't think you run into an issue of it falling off. And you can route your cable through this slot into here and if you have it the other way around you should be able to come off this end and go into right here but if you're like me I just I really don't like that style and I was planning on running my battery on top but this would work well if you put your battery on the bottom I mean it's not too bad but I've got a better solution I 3D printed a mount here and it's going to sit on the frame right in here. The transmitter is going to go into here. I got this little plate, put it in here. Snaps into place, like so. So I'm going to go ahead and get this put on here to this frame and we'll take a look at it. I attached a foam pad to the lid to help push down on the video transmitter in this case. So here's my, my ET200R. Drop it in here. Now I have a, an angle on the lip right there. That's going to squeeze into there. But first, let's go ahead Wrap my wire through here. This lid. And I've got two servo screws that I took. And there's my video transmitter mounted securely. It's a tiny bit of give, not much. So let's get into this frame. Now you see these tabs that I have that stick out. Those match up to this and to this right here. So when you put it on, it snaps right in there, and it will go in just like so, like this. And when you put the screws in through the standoffs here, here, and here, it will squeeze onto this side like this and hold it. So let's get in there and see how it looks. Here's another look at what my plate looks like. And there's a pretty good amount of clearance from this step right here. And like I gotta say, it feels pretty solid. I think it's going to work out pretty nice. Here's how much clearance there is in the back here. There's not quite enough room to fit this LED that came with it to that tap there. So I am going to modify my design here, put a little dip there and there for clearance to put this LED in there. But I mean if you want to get creative, there's all kinds of room that you could that you can work with to put a four LED or whatever you want right there. Here it is with my 3D printed plate flash mount, whatever you want to call it. As you can see, some of my tabs poking through here on each side. 
and this is five millimeters thick with a 40% infill so it should be pretty strong and from here to here we have 70 millimeters so it can fit anything up to a 1300 milliamp hour force cell just fine I don't have the exact battery on hand but I have this uh, Nanotech 850 for cell and I flew this battery earlier and I surprisingly got two minutes of flight time with a fair, fairly mild flying I just I didn't have my FPV gear on here we're just kind of testing out the PIDs stock PIDs with Lux float but and that's what it looks like with the 850. I love the top battery mount. Now a 1300 will come pretty much all the way to right here which is a little bit on the back for weight wise but from my experience having the weight shifted a little far back you really don't notice anything with especially with red bottom motors three blade props. I mean it has more than enough to compensate for the weight to make it go forward. But yeah, this is what it is. Fortunately, I don't think you should have to do this for a $90 frame, but I really like this and there's, as far as I know, nothing out there currently that can even match a setup like this for how tight, compact it is. Well protection, really good protection for your camera. And yeah, I really like it. Now, if this works out fairly well, hopefully, hopefully I'm going to test this out this weekend and maybe get a few crashes in, see how durable this plastic is. And if it is working out really well, I'm going to go ahead and put this out on Thingiverse. So if anyone out there has this frame wants to go this method, they can download it from there. And to give you guys a weight. without the battery we are looking at 359 grams that's pretty good alright thanks for watching